Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Here to share their mission of tourism in the spectacular hidden jewel called Defusky Island, Robin Townsend, committee chair of the Defusky Tourism, a WHHI TV news partner, talks about the island as a, as a historic visitor's destination. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, Sandy. That I was always, such a nice introduction. Well, great. I, I always enjoy having you here. I learned so much about Defusky, which, you know, such a, it really is, it's a gem. It is. And, and we're so lucky to have it. You're calling us a gem. Actually, that is what the South Carolina Tourism Department referred to it as a gem within Buford County. So I love the destination. I do. I do, too. So tell us about the mission of the Tourism Committee. Thank you. Well, the Defusky Tourism Committee is one of the committee within the nonprofit, the Venue Foundation. And we tried to think now, because our mission is Defusky, but it encompasses more than Defusky, and you have to come from some place to get to Defusky, it needed to, to, to have something that would help people understand that. So our mission is to, prom is to foster responsible economic development related around tourism for Defusky, but not just Defusky, areas beyond Defusky. Okay, and so what seems to attract most visitors to Defusky? Oh my goodness. We have so many things on Defusky. As you hear me say, if you haven't seen Defusky, you haven't seen South Carolina, you haven't right. seen Defusky. So there are things that are, are on Defusky that are other places too, but they seem, what seems to be our most draws for the island are the beach. People love mm -hmm. to come for the beach. It's we fabulous. just have fantastic beaches. They love to come for the history of the island. With the entire island lying on the National Historic Registry, they know they can come and find the history still there, not just the historical markers, but the actual history in place there. How did the island land on the on the registry? That's, that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. I agree with you, Sandy. The entire island lying on the National Historic Registry and I had to make myself some notes for that one to answer. Yeah, please, please. It, it, it seems that in the early 1980s, there was a, a woman named Rebecca Starr who took an interest in the island. And she came and did a study of the island and she worked in conjunction with the island historian, Miss Billy Byrne. And she studied the island and she did her, th her master's thesis on the history of Defusky from, that covered from, the 19, uh, from 1520 to 1830, so you know that's a long period of time, right. over 300 years there, and she did her thesis on that, and she filled out the application to get the island on the historic registry. Okay. And, it, and to help celebrate that or help people, make people aware of it, the Defusky Island Historical Foundation has invited the public on May the 7th at 4.30, Marshside Mamas, to hear Miss Starr speak on the history of the island and how it came to be on the historical registry, and that's May the 7th. Okay, May the 7th. And, and it is open to the public. And you have something on June the 7th as far as a historic tour event, right? Yes, and that is good too. Hague Point, so obviously entire island mm -hmm. historical registry, that right. includes Hague Point. Hague Point, it will be hosting an historic tour of Hague Point. Okay. And that too will be open to the public. And they'll be giving guided tours of the things within Hague Point that are considered to be historically significant. That would be the Hague Point community, uh, I'm sorry, the Hague Point Cemetery. So there's a historic sure. cemetery within Hague Point. The Strong Mansion, which people love. The Tabby Ruins that have been recently yeah. restored, something, and the Lighthouse. And there will be food, and again, it will be open to the public. So anyone that's had a curiosity about getting right. to take a peek within Hague point this is an excellent opportunity to come over and, and see Hegg Point. So how do people actually gain information about these events and do they need to register for these events? Well the Hegg Point is op will be just open to the public. Okay. Now of course people will figure out how, have to figure out for themselves how to get there. Okay. They're not going to be necessarily arranging any any transportation right. for it, marine transportation. As far as the, the event for Rebecca Starr, the Historical Foundation, they'll also be open to the public and it being at Marshside Mamas, people might want to vote over for that event. Sure. If if not, come over to the island however they typically would come. So these events will not require registration. Okay, great. And so are you to have a, a Defusky Farmer's Market this year? That's such an <laughs> impressive thing that you have over there. We love having it. Oh, it's so I, much fun. I, our location is just so unique. Yes. Who gets to have a farmer's market on the waterfront yes. where you can boat right up to it? Yes. So it's really unique. And yes, to answer the question, we will be having our farmer's market this and year. And you'll come Sandy. back to tell us more about that. If you invite me back, I I'll will. 
will come always back. invite you back. Always. <laughs> thank you, Sandy. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming in, Robin. It's my pleasure. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.